Crikey. Another couple of inches, and I reckon I would have had a squeaky voice. Welcome to Vile Villain. I'm your villainous host, Edward, and it's Friday, and it's a good day. Fresh haircut, found something good at Funko, and the sun's shining. Two items today, but which one do I show you first? Well, actually I picked up one of these yesterday, so I'll show you that one first. It's a Hot Topic exclusive, Full Metal Alchemist, King Bradley, Chase. I'll admit it, I've watched a little bit, and it was a long time ago, or I didn't, I won't even say I watched it, I read some of the manga. It was good, I just didn't have time, and I just... I know there's a lot of episodes and issues out and whatnot, so I never got into it, but I do know that the main character has a pretty cool name. As usual, I am far too lazy to do any sort of research, so I won't even pretend to tell you what this is about. I don't know who King Bradley is, but we're gonna pop into it. All right, starting from the top, we have King Bradley here. Very distinguished black hair. A little bit of sculpting towards the back, almost like he has owl here puffs. The edges of the hair are sculpted all the way around, including the sideburns. The ears are sculpted. His four batches of hair hanging down into his face. Very cool, sinister almost. Printed eyebrows, one black eye. And around his left eye, you can tell that there's a scar and that he no longer can see out of that eye, except that inside that white eye, there's a six-sided star that looks like it might have a dragon going around it. Not really sure what that's about, but I'm betting it's either aliens or magic. Small pointed sculpted nose, epic sculpted mustache. There's just not enough pops with mustaches. That's changing soon. Going on down, he has a military style jacket. Long and blue, gray piping. It looks like he has some medals on the upper left-hand portion of his chest. He has a bent sword in his hand, but that's due for the packaging. A little heat will fix that right up. Gold color handle, brown scabbard with gold accents. There's a gray strap holding that scabbard to his side. Blue pants, black boots with gray soles. Yeah, this is a pretty cool pop. Kinda wish I knew what he was all about. Can't know everything, or is that anything? Yeah. Hot Topic exclusive, Full Metal Alchemist, King Bradley Chase. Funko did have a drop today, as I mentioned just a little bit ago. I think this is the third or maybe fourth iteration of him, if you include the chase. Maybe it's the third. No. I know there's a crocodile. There's a turtle. That's a chase. It seems like there's something else, but I do not remember what it is. Whether this be the third or the fourth, you know if you love him, it is Steve Irwin. This time with a snake. I'm still waiting for the stingray, though. I might have to get the customs just so I can have that. Let's pop into it, mate. Crikey! I'm gonna sneak up behind it, and I'm gonna jam my thumb into its butthole. If you don't watch South Park, that was a South Park reference. All right, pretty cool Steve Irwin chase. I've never really taken a close look at the other ones because I don't have them. I do have a bitch about this though. There's a really bad seam here between the front part of the snake and the middle part of the snake. Just a huge gap, and there's some weird paint going on in the back of it. I can't tell if there's extra paint on it or if the yellow paint's worn off of it, but there's definitely a little paint issue. The rest of it looks sweet. I'm assuming it's probably the same sculpt as the other two. Maybe not. Starting from the top, you have that sandy brown hair. Very well sculpted. Gives it a bit of a dynamic look and makes it almost look like it has a wash. Pops out really well. Thick printed on eyebrows. Large black eyes, sculpted nose. Steve Irwin's wearing his classic khaki-colored, khaki-colored romper. Has sculpted buttons, sculpted pockets, a sculpted collar, little sculpted shorts. His left hand is holding the head of the snake, who has a decent amount of detail in his face. Dots for eyes, three dots on each side of its face. Now, I'm not really sure why that is. Must be some sort of snake, because I noticed that on the packaging. As I mentioned before, there's that horrible gap. The snake coils all the way around his body, and he's also holding it with his right hand. There is definitely some gappage going on between his hand and that middle part of the snake as well. I would have loved to have seen a little bit more detail in the snake. It's very, very smooth. I know they can do it because they just did it with the Medusa. Steve Irwin has bare legs and very detailed boots. You can see the laces, the eyelets, very good colors, brown and black, the eyelets are silver. The boots are the most impressive part of this pop. The snake needs work. Funko exclusive, Steve Irwin. With the snake. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but New York Toy Fair is going on right now. There have been all kinds of reveals. I'm almost done making like a huge purchase order. And then I'm ordering some other stuff as well. I found this really cool six inch snake eyes. Looks like the old school stuff. Oh, 
it's cool. There's a bunch of other stuff, especially Pops. It looks like they're filling out. They have season two versions of The Office coming out. You get all your classics, Kelly, Meredith, and, and the black guy, I forget his name. <laughs> There's a few characters there. There's another Michael Scott. There is a Dwight whose stapler is in jail. So everybody I'm sure is looking forward to that. They also have a Dwight dressed up as the Dark Lord coming out. So that's cool as well. If you watch the show, The Boys, there's a whole collection of pops coming out for that show as well. You have things like Cobra Kai, you know, Karate Kid, Smokey the Bandit, in and outside his car. The original Archie Comics Archie, a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh, a whole bunch of Dragon Ball, a bunch of Marvel stuff coming out. I just can't remember everything. There's a ton. A ton more than what I even just mentioned. Oh, and an 18-inch Harry Potter. He has Hedgewick on his arm. All right, as for the giveaway, Monday is the day. That's the day. I'll let you know who won. So it gives you a little bit more time to subscribe. Those of you who may not have seen it, go look at the episode a couple episodes ago. It'll be titled Giveaway or some such. Watch the episode. Find out how to enter. You have until Monday to subscribe to this channel and leave your comment. So if you like this video, like this video. Are you one of those lurkers that are always watching the video and not subscribing? Well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What did you think of today's pops? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're looking forward to from Toy Fair. I think there's still a couple days left, so there's probably going to be more reveals. And if you want to help out this channel, share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Spam it everywhere. Just get it out there. Share this video. And until next time, go...